Hi, I'm Angelica Gonzalez. I work in the chemical technology department. I work with the tool that is one of the driving forces for our industrial development, a key technology that transforms fuel to hydrogen for clean energy. In our industrialized world, we all need energy for transportation, for heat our houses. We expect to have food, to have a, a job, we expect to have a healthy life. We also expect to have access to technology. Without this key technology, the, that basically the increase the speed of chemical processes without being consuming them, our present global development wouldn't be possible. That the, this key technology is known as catalysis. Besides the need of a comfortable life, we also are concerned about sustainable development, about environmental quality. And that means that we need alternative energy sources, that we need to lower emissions, that we need efficient and profi profitable uh, processes. So again, catalysis is one of these key technologies that will help us to meet these needs. But how? How catalysis can help to this? One example can be found in the transport sector. An engine track can be in, stand, in standstill mode up to 40% of, of its operating time. During that time, the engine is uh, fuel inefficiency, fuel inefficient, and uh, it, uh, it contributes to exhaust emissions. Moreover, fuels, fossil fuels need to be replaced by renewable, fuel, renewable uh, uh, fuels. And um, fossil fuels also need to be replaced and uh, de to decrease uh, because the fossil fuel availability is decreasing. So what has been done to, to solve this problem? The fuel cell car is one option. It uses hydrogen, uh, a, a virtually limitless of uh, energy source. However, the fuel cell cars are also have some limitations such as the hydrogen storage and the poor fuel infrastructure. But catalyst technology can um, overcome these limitations by producing renewable, renewable fuels through catalytic processes. It, it can reduce the emissions by converting diesel into hydrogen for multi-fuel auxiliary power units. And uh, the auxiliary power units use the fuel cell technology to provide electricity during the standstill mode of the truck. Our catalytic solution it has the advantage to use existing fuel infrastructure. Hydrogen is produced on board and it does not need to be stored since it can be con continuously produced. With further research and, econ and economical investment, it can become in a clean transport energy source. Science and technology constantly change to improve uh, the people's, people's lifestyle. And catalyst technology has been done that. It also is a multidisciplinary field and requires knowledge from nanotechnology to industrial processes. Today, I have shown you my tool. Please show me yours. I will be standing in poster number 34. And let's be active and start to build innovation and technological knowledge together. Thank you.